Robots fly planes, drive boats and buses. Just put the robots in, input instructions and bam, the job is being done. Robots taking over transportation is less dangerous and less time too. Jetpacks also exist now, like cars they are electronic, because of a world meeting about getting rid of gas, almost everything in the world is electronic. Richie Torres has improved military tactics as that is what he wanted to make better as he got into office. The military was reduced from 522,000 soldiers to 490,000 soldiers all the way back in 2015. Through the decades this number fluctuated, and was never at a set, or high number. Since Richie's presidency that number has doubled and is close to 1 million volunteers total. Two thousand fifty nine documentary by Shea Mullins, Cameron Wisham, Josie DeVries, and Fiona Wen. Politics in two thousand fifty nine. In two thousand fifty one, Richie Torres was elected as president and served two terms. He has increased the total wealth of the U.S.'s community and has made trade partnerships with China and Germany. Our exports from biggest to smallest are machines, electronic equipment, aircraft, vehicles, oil, and medical equipment. China trade advanced electronics, machines, furniture, clothing, and a large amount of medical equipment. Germany trades vehicles, pharmaceuticals, and medical equipment. Taurus has inspired many to fight for their country which has helped the U.S. get bigger, Evolve and battle other countries better. These reinforcements are desperately needed as the US and Russia have just got into a war. The war started in 2052 when Taurus went into office for his second year. It began over tension through trading partners and possible threats Russia directed at the US. These threats included attacking Washington, D.C., and other state capitals in the U.S. The war was mostly fought by sea, mostly the Pacific Ocean. There were many battles by submarine. This was one of the first technically advanced war. The U.S. and Russia fought for eight years by sea, but Russia ended up surrendering as a lot of their people were being killed. Russia and the U.S. made an agreement about trading petroleum, coal, and raw aluminum for medical equipment machines, and technology. Technology in 2059 In 2050, the occupations have grown another 12% for technology resources, the same amount that grew in 2014 to 2024. It is projected to create 500,000 more jobs because of the diverse areas of technology and the ever-growing internet. The 2050 median average of annual wage is going to be around $90,000, making it about $9,000 increase from 2024. The occupations are also growing in the field of technology everywhere in the world. Popular jobs are computer and research scientists, software developers, and information security analysts. Healthcare in 2059 the U.S. is ranked 37th place based on the quality and efficiency of its health care. Health care in 2059 for all the citizens of the United States has changed greatly for the good. The current population of the U.S. is 321.7 million people with over 33 million citizens who still can't afford or have health care for their family and themselves. In 2059, Health care will be free, which means all the citizens of the United States will be able to have health care at no cost. The U.S. spends about $9,523 per person or $3.1 trillion on health care that does not even give efficient results which increases the death rate of the U.S. Free health care means less money wasted on ineffective and expensive medical care. To balance out the free health care, 
there will be an increase of jobs and a slight increase on taxes which shouldn't affect any household that much. Hospitals would need more educated and professionally skilled doctors to work and treat patients. Many deaths are caused by improper skills and lack of knowledge. By 2059, the U.S. would be improved in health care and medical professionals for better, efficient, and cost-worthy results. Travel and Transportation in 2059 Our travel has changed a lot since 2016. We can actually visit Antarctica. A company has developed and made this snow coat that keeps all the heat in. It also has these body warmers built in. They are similar to the ones found inside cars inside the seats. These newly developed snow coats will keep and provide us warmth when visiting. Our transportation has changed a lot as well. Cars are able to fly. The tires go under the car. There are some companies that do not make flying cars. Flying cars have the ability to fly and drive on the ground. All the cars are electronic which means it does not require gas and is no longer used for cars. Robots are taking over many transportation jobs. Environment in 2059 the consumption of fossil fuels from 2012 to 2030 has completely depleted the ozone layer, destroyed climates, and endangered many species. According to ConserveEnergyFuture.com, the IPPC 2007 report says by the end of the century ocean levels will rise 7 to 23 inches. Since 1880 the average temperature rise has been by 1.4 degrees Fahrenheit. In 2040 people will begin to realize the immediacy of this problem and how it got too far out of hand. In 2051 the United Nations, the UN, held a meeting to discuss the effects of fossil fuels and the effect on the community. They come to the decision if they wanted to stay on this planet they needed to help it. The country's leaders or representatives all signed a document called Planet Protection Plan. This made all the countries under the document reduce their fossil fuel usage by 5 to 10 percent in the first one to two years. This also included funded programs that would provide education about these topics and cleaning services so it might become influential to others and provide a positive jump towards making the world clean again. In 2059 the total amount of fossil fuel emissions produced saw a slight decrease for the first time in 50 years. The amount has decreased by about 4%. If the countries continue to decrease their use of emissions, land waste, and ocean waste the number is predicted to reduce by almost 10% in the next 8 to 10 years.